weeks ago, I attended the Nucleus Expo at the University of Southampton Science Park. And undoubtedly, one of the highlights of the show was the team from Hobbs Rehabilitation, who were displaying an exoskeleton based on military technology. Originally designed to enable troops to carry more kit over longer distances, the EXO is now being used to help those with injuries to their spine. One of our main things we work at the moment is introducing technology into the rehab setting. Today we have the exoskeleton. Um, you saw me earlier walking uh, with that device. In particular, that device works on someone's weight transfer, being able to move their weight from side to side. So even if you've got a patient that may not be able to walk, potentially it will benefit their course ability by using it and also obviously upper limb function using the, the device. So interesting was this idea that I later went to the rehab centre near Winchester to learn more about this groundbreaking technology and how it was making a difference there. Uh, yeah, I was involved in a car accident with Lexi Cassidy. Um, and so yeah, I've uh, got a complete spinal cord injury from about two years ago. For me, the main thing was getting back riding. So I wanted to get make sure that my balance and my core stability was as strong as I could get it. Um, and this has been helping a lot with like balance and the control. It's helped with my circulation because I've had poor circulation from my knees down. And so my feet used to swell and that doesn't really happen as much anymore. Um, and obviously not walking, you could your bone density could you know, get worse. But this, as well as me standing at home, um, this will help stop that from being a problem as well. It's not that heavy at all. Strap for all. Yeah, that's fine. It's adjustable so that like the upper leg, lower leg is adjustable and width. So we get it. And the first session we spent a lot of it is getting the right measurements. And it's getting it fit to the person because obviously the X is machine that will move in a certain way but it's also you know, it just the best thing. <laughs> do, they have a bit of a spring on the bottom. And that's because um, when you're in the EXO, you, it is designed always to be used with crutches. And the crutches are there to add a bit of stability. Because apart from these, by being strapped up into a backpack, you, you lost a few of your balance kind of responses. And therefore, you're slightly less stable. And they're designed to be out wide. So once you're standing, um, the EXO is designed to be used to always have someone behind. To mine that you're going to see using sticks, and I need to go a little behind now because my balance is so good. But she'll always have practice. Um, and she's also got the controls which are on the crutch. So what we might do, we often start just to do a little bit of standing. So in standing, but just to practice that. Doing some weight shaking, just to get that Patients are typically strapped into the EXO for up to an hour at a time, depending on their ability and strength. And Jemima is gaining in confidence every time she uses it, even if it does look like she's being controlled like a video game. I feel safe, like, I don't feel like I'm going to go anywhere. Like, before when we do this, I would be quite blind on like, crutches or something, but now I'm like quite light with the crutches. <laughs> yeah, at first they do all the controls and you just get used to standing, being up, but yeah, now I, I prefer having to control myself. Well, I'm not doing much. I'm only saying when the steps to be taken um, and giving a bit of balance support. But yes, the controls at the back. Okay, and step. Good. When people come in here to use it for a week, instead of just using EXO, we very much like half the packages you have an hour of physio in the morning and that's how we seem to get the best results from it, the best quality of you know, the person's good alignment and tone. Um, so yeah, the preparation is really key for helping the quality of So another thing that actually really um, helps is working core muscles and like core activity and like core strengthening. So, but Jemima is also a horse rider, so she's working quite hard and has actually got a very strong core. Like, it, it was so nice being up and about, but because I've stood up in hospital, they get you to do that, but to be able to walk is, is just amazing, because you know, get told, yeah, you're not going to walk, and I know it's not the same, but it is fantastic. The Hobbs Centre is clearly breaking new ground when it comes to the care of their patients, and are pushing aftercare into the future, one step at a time. This is Richard Stringer, for That's Solent.